What's up everyone? Today's video is a little different, a little nostalgic for me. When I was a kid, I remember my dad making this for us. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I remember how delicious they were. Nice, thin, crispy pancake rolled up with bacon, egg, and cheese inside. Truly amazing. And one bite brings me right back to childhood. Pretty basic. I'm going to start with some bacon, get that on a tin foil lined tray. And I'm going to season my bacon with some pepper. Then this is going into a 425 degree preheated oven for about 20 minutes until it's nice and crispy. The pancake recipe is pretty basic. We're going to go with a bowl and a sifter. And then I'm adding one and a half cups all-purpose flour three and a half teaspoons of baking powder sift that all together so everything is nice and light then i'm going in with a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt we're going to give everything a little pre-mix before we add our wet ingredients which are one whole egg and one and a half cups milk now I didn't have any whole milk so I'm using evaporated milk and normally I would only add one and one fourth cups of milk but I want these to be a little bit more thinner I want the batter to be thinner because I want these pancakes to be thin and crispy so that's why the extra one fourth cup of milk thin so we can roll them up so we're going to start working our batter and once things get together we're going to slowly drizzle in three tablespoons of melted butter not overworking our batter just mixing until things are just barely combined you still want the batter lumpy this batter looks great so let's head on over to the stove I got a big pan over the stove get that nice and hot then i'm going down with some butter i'm gonna let that swirl around and melt a little bit and then i'm going down with a nice big amount of our pancake batter remember you want this pancake to be big thin and crispy so we can roll it up later so make sure you spread that batter out a little bit too i'm so mad because i missed the record button when i flipped this but we're gonna go ahead and give this a flip and then i know a big no-no is never pressing down your pancakes but i want this thin and crispy so it's okay i'm gonna press it down a little bit and because this is so thin it's gonna cook quicker than a normal pancake i think i did about three minutes on each side but look how beautiful that looks how golden and crispy those edges are Woo. okay once the bottom of our pancake is looking nice and good and golden brown too we're gonna head and get this off onto a plate then i'm gonna go ahead and soft scramble two eggs now let's assemble this masterpiece i'm going down with two slices of kobe jack cheese two slices of our crispy bacon which believe me i wanted to do more i really did but i decided to restrain myself today and right over that we're going with our nice beautiful silky bouncy scrambled eggs just like that now the debate was sweet or savory ketchup or syrup here's what i went with syrup i was feeling a little sweet today so i decided to go with syrup plus i'll be honest the idea of ketchup and pancakes just wasn't speaking to me this morning wrap it up like a bad date and i promise you in for a treat this thing looks so good let's break it open so we can see what we're dealing with the cheese is nice and melty we got syrup leaking from everywhere this thing is actually holding together quite nice so let's go in for a bite and let's try it out Ooh, instant nostalgia the pancake thin and crispy like i've been saying the whole time the eggs nice and soft and pillowy that cheese is melted the bacon is crispy that syrup i'm so glad i went with syrup instead of ketchup because i needed something sweet this morning let me get a nice cold juice to wash it down with and i'm going back in for another bite all right y'all thanks for sticking around and watching this video thanks for hanging out with me thanks for taking this trip down memory lane with me that's it for this video and that's it for me like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one